welcome and thank you for joining this NIA interactive series on how to install and develop a website using CMS Made Simple. So CMS Made Simple is an open source content management system that you can use instead of WordPress or Drupal. Uh, we've started using it years ago uh, and we found it much easier to use, much more intuitive uh, than something like WordPress. Uh, and so we're going to do a session on how to uh, how to install it and how to use it. So we start out by going to the homepage cmsmadesimple.org and then we just download the installer. You go to the install page and you download the most recent version in our case it's 2.2.15 and we just download it to our machine here <clears throat> and then once it's downloaded we can extract it and inside of this extracted folder we have a readme file but we also have the actual install here so the install uh, file is this one here that's what we're going to upload to our site so right now we have a site with nothing on it uh, and we're going to go ahead and upload you can use an FTP program or you can use anything uh, you want you can use a built-in system uh, to upload but then we go here inside of the install folder and upload the install.php file and then of course you have to remember the name cmsms-2.2.15-install.php and that is the name of the file. So we go here to our site which is now just under construction. .2.15-install.php So this is the install uh, uh, help is the install assistant and you just uh, read through here all the different areas it's going to take us nine steps basically you can do advanced mode but there's really no need to do that so you just go to next and it's going to run a test here uh, in order to see if your system is set up the right way that you can actually do the uh, do the install so we're going to run the test and it passed the test, so all the things passed. So now it's asking, and that checks your PHP and check to make sure that your website is running properly. So the so now we're going to configure the site. So this is assumes, of course, that we already have a um, database set up. So just named our CMS MS dash DB, and then the user uh, we put it as the same, but of course um, the server requires us to do a little something different. And then we can set up our password, which was already set up when we installed the database. You can set your server time to whatever time zone that you want to. And then here you go. So now we can set up our admin. And this is the admin in order to log in to the uh, administrative area in the back. And then we can give the website a name. And you can install other languages. So English is installed as a default, but you can install other languages, French, English, whatever else you want, and then hit next. And then here it's going to extract from archives and create all of the dummy files that are needed. It's installed in the directory. It created the database. Well, it uh, set up the database anyway and it's finishing and that's it that's how easy it is to set up and then we can open up the website and we can open up the admin area and just like that the website is up and running and here's the admin area enter in the password and we are in the admin area here so the website is up and running with the page and the admin is up and running and of course what we need to do now is go back and when we enter into the public doc we have to uh, delete this install file so no one else then installs over our install so we're going to delete this and there we go so we're set up this is exactly how you install CMS made simple. So next we'll start taking a look at the back end, what the admin area looks like and what it consists of. And then after that we will get into installing themes and installing individual pages.